first of all, uh, something I'm really excited about, something that got announced, is... Let's see if it pops up. Poof. The Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Now, first, straight off, the Master Collection. Really? Master? Like, a little bit on the nose, huh? For those who don't know, Master a... Um, what should I... What's the word I should use? Legendary? Maybe that's a little over the top, but a very well-known competitive dead or alive player who is a hard Hayabusa main. Um, currently community manager for, is it Koi Tecmo or is it Team Ninja? I'm not sure. It's community manager for just Team Ninja. Yeah, that's what I thought. So calling it the Master Click, it's kind of on the nose. I don't know if it's like literally linked to that or if he suggested it i don't know but it's funny if you're in the know uh so yeah the collection something you know y y you've been around this channel you know i've played these games multiple times on stream uh i love them and the only thing i wished was like a more recent easy version to play them and here we go so this collection is going to be on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, I believe, and PC, which is exciting. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time you can actually play them on PC, which is, I think that's a good thing. More than the PlayStation version and whatever, it being on PC, amazing. That's great. Uh, but yeah, having it updated, running on a PS4 or PS5 in backwards compatibility, that's great too. At first I was kind of taken aback, like PS4 really, not even the PS5 version. But to be fair, these are old games. They are going to run smooth AF on PS4 already. So I don't think there's a reason to make it like a native PS5 version. It probably runs more than fine in backwards compatibility on a PS5. These are old games. I do have some criticism because I think it's a collection, but it does more feel like um, a bunch of ports. It doesn't feel like, you know, like a celebration of the franchise. Here's why. First of all, um, let's scroll a little bit. So yeah, you get the three games. Most of the previously downloaded content, which is at first I was like, what's this weird wording? But we'll get to that. I think I know why they say it this way. But most of the DLC is going to be there. You know, Ayane, Rachel, Momiji, Kasumi. Highly dependent on the game. That's not true for all the games, by the way. But yeah, so here's the thing. This collection is Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Razor's Edge. I would have preferred, and I know this is this is asking a lot, but for me, like a, a, a collection that would be like, wow, I have to get this, like must buy, would be a collection where you could choose the version. Because Ninja Gaiden, all of them actually have multiple versions, you know? You have Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden Black, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus. Same for, you know, Ninja Gaiden 2, Sigma 2, Sigma 2 Plus, and Ninja Gaiden 3, you know, there's just the original one and Razor's Edge. Even though some of them might not be as good as other versions, I would have loved to see you be able to pick, you know, like if I wanted to play Ninja Gaiden Black, that would have been so sick to do on on PlayStation, because that's and that might be a thing. Maybe it's like still hard exclusive, right? Maybe it's like only Sigma is allowed off the Xbox platforms, which, you know, if that's the case, I'll shut up. You know, it is what it is. Um, but in the end, you know, at least we get all of them on modern systems and PC. Again, that to me is probably the best thing about it because mods, guys, People, you know, one of my biggest complaints has always been that 
the secondary characters like Ayane, Momiji, whatever, right? There's like a handful of missions and the trials, right? You can bet your ass someone's going to mod the possibility to play the entire game with any of the characters. At least in Sigma 2 and Razor's Edge, where those characters are available. That's going to be sick. I really hope someone does that. Now, there's some, you know, small font. You know what that means. Bad news. Online multiplayer is not available for tag missions in Sigma 2. Oof. Clan battle for Shadows of the World in Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge not included. Online multiplayer is not available for Ninja Trials. Basically, they cut all multiplayer components out of the games, which is a shame because those trials, they're fun on your own, but they really were cool as co-op and them cutting it kind of sucks it kind of sucks i don't even get why because they still work on the original versions it's not like it's costing them more to make it maybe it has to do with the online infrastructure or maybe they're they don't bother to make it for switch and therefore just cut it out entirely i don't know but it kind of sucks and i think this is why they're saying most of the previous DLC because I'm pretty sure there was online DLC for like the multiplayer mode in Ninja Gaiden 3. I believe there was DLC for that and I think that's why they're saying most because it's not all if the online is not there. So I'm assuming all the DLC that's relevant to playing the single player game, playing the trials on your own. I'm sure all those costumes and weapons and whatever they added over the years uh, are all there. But yeah, to me, it's it's a bit of a... It's unfortunate. I would have loved for people to be able to pick up these collections and play co-op. That would have, would have like breathed some life into those co-op modes, at least for a little while, at least for like a couple of months tops right that you could just go in again and at least some people were still playing it because right now you have to like find a friend to play it on those old, old consoles so you know a bit unfortunate all in all i'm still really happy to have you know like a modern collection i guess a modern bundle of these games and yeah definitely definitely gonna play these again in fact I was thinking about going in again, like playing Ninja Gaiden Black and playing the original Ninja Gaiden 2 uh, for another run through these games. But I, I probably am going to wait until this releases and then play the collection entirely. That might be fun. And maybe I'll get it on Steam, you know what? Just to be crazy. Maybe I'll get it on Steam. Though, you know, I, I like it on my PS4. Eh. We'll see. Anyway, I think the collection, it's a nice, you know, it's a long time coming. People have been asking for this for a long time. In fact, you know, these are PS3 games and we're in the PS5 era. It, they skipped the whole generation to even make this bundle. So it took them long enough, but at least we're getting it. I'm happy. Good shit.